Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to block certain types of websites using your edge router. So this is actually something that I got a request to make. Uh, somebody was asking if um, they could block sites such as Facebook or Twitter or things like that using their edge router and that they'd heard that people use Raspberry Pis and such for stuff like this, which that part's actually true. I use a Raspberry Pi running Pi Hole to block my websites on my network, but it is possible to block certain types of sites using only your edge router. Now, for the example of um, Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that, these social media websites, it's actually really easy to block those, except for it's a blanket uh, block. With the edge router, you can't really pick and choose which specific URLs you want to block unless you run it as a proxy, which is possible. However, I have not tried it and I haven't set that up. Maybe that's something for another video. But me personally, I don't really care for using proxies. I like to uh, filter content. So what I use is a blacklist on Pihole. But I'm going to show you today how to actually block just certain uh, categories of traffic using your edge router. So first I'm going to show you how to do it here in the graphical interface using the firewall rules in the firewall policies tab. And then I'll show you the commands that you can run in the actual command line to uh, enable this as well. So let's get uh, started here. I'm actually on my edge router that I use for my home network. So all of these are my existing firewall rules and I'm going to be using it uh, here kind of in the real world. This isn't a lab device like I usually show you guys on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up some social networks here. So and uh, Tumblr's not on here, but we'll do tumblr.com comes up. So say we want to block access to all of these types of websites. All we have to do is create a new firewall rule. And let's just assume I don't have really any rules here already. Just ignore everything you see. We'll go to add rule set, call this uh, block social. And our default action is going to be to accept. And please remove white space. Yep. All right. We'll put an underscore in there. Uh, description. I'm just going to leave that blank and save it. So if we go to our new firewall uh, set that we made, a rule set, edit the rule set and add a new rule, we can do an action of drop and we're going to use all protocols and we'll just give it the, the description of a block social uh, networks. And if we head over to the advanced tab, we can see this drop down menu at the very bottom called application. Now these are the default built in categories that an edge router has. And they're kind of blanket statements that block all types of these uh, categories. It doesn't block everything that could be associated with it. It's kind of a top list, if you will. It's not all inclusive, but it has most of the uh, popular websites for these categories. So you can see we've got like games, uh, peer to peer, security updates, social network. This is the one we're going to be using, but you've also got stuff like these top sites down here, kids, uh, adult, you can block your porn if you want instant messaging. There's all sorts of stuff, but you're kind of limited by what's already in these categories. You can't really add or remove specific URLs again, unless you're using a different method. So let's just select a social network here. And that's really all we need to do. We just hit save at this point. And we're going to have this rule that says block application social network. And that's going to enable deep packet inspection. And our router is going to be looking for anything that matches this social network category. And it's going to block it. Now, since our default action is accept on this firewall rule, it's going to accept everything else that um, isn't a social network. So let's go ahead and save this rule order and then exit out of there. And actually, I forgot to assign it to an interface, so I'm going to go back into edit rule set, go under interfaces, and we're going to put this on uh, switch 088. So I'm running VLANs and I've got these virtual interfaces on my router. Yours would probably be just switch zero, and we're going to do the direction of N. Or if you're running something like an ER4, you don't have an actual switch interface, you would do whatever Ethernet interface that your uh, LAN is hanging off of and then direction of in. So for me, that's uh, dot eight eight. And we're going to save the rule set again, apply that to this port. And now if we close out all of these tabs that we just opened and try to go back to them, they shouldn't go anywhere. Well, Twitter went through. Let's see if Tumblr does. Well, Tumblr goes through. However, Facebook does not. These could be cached. Let's see if I Oh, well, this is kind of working. 
Log in, maybe? No, uh, maybe. Oh, see if we can see their terms. Okay, so Facebook just completely timed out. Twitter, it looked like we got to the home page, but I'm thinking that might have been a cached copy because I went down here to about and it's not loading anything at all. Now I can see their terms of service that loaded. Uh, Tumblr is actually working, kind of. These two aren't loading. So you can see it's kind of doing something. If we go back to our edge router and look at uh, that rule set, I don't think we had log on it. But if we, if we edit this, let's put a log on this. So check logging, save it, and back out of there, and we go to stats. Let's just refresh some of these. Oh, no, there's Tumblr's Terms of Service. Let's try to refresh Facebook. And you can see our block count for that rule is just ticking up and up and up. So this is actually working. The main one it's working for is Facebook. Uh, the first time I tried this before I did the video, it actually did block Twitter. I don't know why a few of those got through. Again, I think it might be cached. Uh, Tumblr, though, seems to be halfway affected by these rules. Let's bring up something else. Uh, MySpace. Does anybody use MySpace anymore? I think MySpace is so old it doesn't even count as a social network anymore. This is kind of how out of touch I am. I don't really know any other social network sites. Facebook and Twitter are like the only ones I really use. But anyways, there we go. Twitter timed out, so I guess it worked for that. MySpace apparently isn't in the list. Now, I'm going to show you how to check these lists and see what's in them. And this part actually involves the command line. So I'm going to go ahead and just reverse everything I just did. So I'm going to remove this rule set from the interfaces and then delete it. And delete rule set. There we go. Let's see if we refresh these pages, they should load right up. Yep, there's Facebook and Twitter's loading again. Okay, let's go into the command line here. So you could just go to your uh, CLI area of the graphical interface, but I use Solar Putty. So the command we're going to want to do here to uh, kind of search and see what websites are in what category. Yeah, it's a little weird, but you got to do uh, sudo and then slash user slash sbin slash ubnt dash dpi dash util. And there's two options at this point. I don't think we can question mark that out. But there's a show cat apps and search app. So if we do search dash app and then just use a keyword. So we'll see if Twitter was indeed supposed to be blocked. So if we just search Twitter, then it should show us which um, categories Twitter is a part of, if any. So right here, Twitter should have been blocking, which it was there at the end a little bit. But it's in the category of social networks. So if that's a site you want to block, you have to block the category social networks. Now if we do that again, we'll see if MySpace was a part of that. It actually was, so not really sure why MySpace wasn't being blocked there. It should have been. It's a part of the social networks uh, category there. Now let's say we're wanting something completely different. We'll say, here we go, Pornhub. Say you want to block adult websites. If you specifically want to block Pornhub, then this will show you what category it's in, and that is media streaming services, apparently. Um, another common one would be torrents. Now we'll just search torrent, and here's a bunch of them, BitTorrent, CTorrent, whatever. Most of them are under peer-to-peer -peer networks, and it looks like eTorrent is in web services. So these are going to be your key words that you're going to want to remember to block if these are indeed sites that you want to block. So this social network is the one we're trying to block, so I'm going to highlight that. And we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing that we did in the user interface, but we're going to do it in command line this time. So we're going to go into configure mode. And we're going to do set system firewall, oh no, traffic analysis, DPI enable. You have to have DPI enabled, which mine already has it enabled. That's why it was working before. And traffic analysis export enable. Again, mine already has that enabled. Now the next thing is we're going to want to set firewall uh, a name. So I think we named it social before. We'll name it social again with the default action of accept. So this is the exact same thing we did with the drop down menus, except this time we're doing it in command line. So go back, set firewall, name social, and we'll do rule 10 application category. Now it looks like we can do a custom category. That's something I haven't really uh, gone into. 
But here, if you just question mark out what's after categories, this will show you all of your uh, preset categories. So we're going to do social network, hit enter, and then set firewall name, social, rule 10, action, drop. So we're going to tell that category of social network to drop. And then at this point, we just set um, interfaces, ethernet, uh, actually not ethernet. In my case, it's switch switch 0 0.88 firewall in social and switch 0 0.88 is not valid why not now okay for my case I have to do switch 0 uh, virtual interface 88 firewall in name social and then we do a commit and this should enable it again for us so I'm going to close back out and come back into Opera and let's try to get to our social networks again. So Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and we'll try MySpace again. MySpace still works. Don't know why MySpace works, but it looks like all of our other ones are going to time out. So if we go back into our firewall tab and do a refresh here, we should see the rule just like we made it in the GUI before. Yep, down here, social applied to switch.88n. We have the one rule, default action is accept. And our one rule is for the social network applications. And it's dropping them. And if we wanted to add some other rules, like say social networks aren't the only ones we want to drop, we can just go throw in a new rule here. Say we want to block porn. Go to application, um, top sites adult. And we can just save that in there. So then this is going to block, it's going to go down the list, it's going to block everything from social networks, it's going to block everything from uh, the adult top sites, and whatever else we really want. And actually I forgot to show you uh, the other command. I was actually editing this video and realized that I didn't uh, show how to see what websites are actually under a category. That is the other weird command that I uh, kind of briefly mentioned earlier, but I didn't actually do. So that other one, if we go back into the command line, it's uh, sudo slash user sbin ubnt dash dpi dash util and it's show cat dash apps and then you have to specify a category name so if you already know what the categories are and you're just curious what's in them then you can just type it in here so social uh, network and that was not found it is case sensitive so i think it's uh, two capitals there and this should show a list of all of the websites that are blocked under that category. So, yeah, here we go. Tumblr, Twitter, TweetDeck, Twu, whatever all of these are. Vine, those are the ones I've heard of. Blogger, all of these are blocked under the social network category. So, like I said, it's not all-inclusive. These are just um, everything included there. Now, if we do, if we go into configure mode and we try to do one of those... Uh, Firewall rules, so set firewall uh, name, whatever, rule 10, application, and category. If we do a question mark, this will show us all of our categories, and then we can just kind of uh, forget about what we were doing there. Exit out of that, and go back to our uh, show cat apps command. Then we can actually uh, type in and see what we're uh, doing here. So if we do peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, this should list everything in peer-to-peer. -peer. And it's a pretty long list that includes BitTorrent and BitTornado and all of that. Uh, another one um, in the last example I did was the uh, adult top sites. Let's see what's actually being blocked under that. All right, top sites adult. Let's go back down here, show cat apps, paste that in there. And this will show us all of our adult sites that we're trying to block. And it's actually empty. So apparently that was just gonna do nothing. Um, all right, so this is why it's kind of worth uh, checking out what sites are actually in these categories because uh, you might run across one like that that's actually uh, completely empty. You think you're blocking porn for everybody, but uh, everyone in your house is watching porn anyway. So yeah, I just thought I'd circle back to that and show you that command. So that's really all there is to it. I know there is something else you can do with a custom category, but from what I've read, the custom categories still only go off of the uh, pre-built categories that we've already kind of looked at. I think you might be able to determine um, 
which specific sites are in there, but I don't actually think so. Again, I haven't really looked into that very much. I just know that this this uh, method is a little limited. It's not really flexible, which is why I tend to use something like a Raspberry Pi, running Pi Hole, and run a blacklist on it. Just add whatever sites I don't want to my blacklist, and they're just blocked. And I don't have to worry about blocking sites that might be useful, while at the same time blocking sites that I definitely don't want. And there's also other uh, better ways to do this using firewalls and pre-built rule sets that are a little more flexible and a little just uh, more hands-on and better suited to your use case. But hopefully this video uh, showed you how to kind of just block these sites. Um, if you just don't want any social network or torrents especially, torrents is one that this is used for all the time. Like nobody wants torrents on their uh, internet to slow everything down while they're trying to game. So it's a real quick and easy way to just blanket block all the torrents. Now, like I said, it's not completely all inclusive, but it's a real good start and it's real easy to set up. Takes five minutes as you just saw. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully I'll be getting into making a few more videos here recently. I know I've been away for about a month. I'm about to be in the process of moving, so if I'm going to be making videos, I need to crank some out here real fast so I can have a backlog to uh, upload while I'm actually out of the house. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one, uh, and happy networking in the meantime.